Shalom Akiyam, Shalom Yasharala. First off, I want to give all praises to Yahweh in the name of Yahweh Shai. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching us his truth. I will be going into the names of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. So we'll go to 1 John uh, chapter 4 and we'll start off in verse 14. And we have seen and do testify that the Father sent the Son to be the Savior of the world. Right? What is the name of the Father and the Son, if thou canst tell? So the name of the Father is Yahweh, and the name of the Son is Yahweh Shai. And he was sent to be the Savior of the world. But who is that world? Well, before we go there, we'll go to Titus chapter 1, verse 3. But hath in due times manifest his word, which is Yahweh Shai, through preaching, which is committed unto me according to the commandment of our power, Yahweh, our Savior. So Yahweh is our Savior, but Yahweh Shai is the one that saved us. Right? So keeping that in mind, before we go to. Uh, to who the world is we'll go to um, Psalms 55 uh, verse 16 as for me I will call upon our power and Yahweh shall save me and we'll go into that verse So up here in the Hebrew text, you can see it says Allah Hayyam. Allah Allah Hayyam. Allah Hayyam is God's or powers. And then we go down uh, oh, and, and you keep reading. It says Wa, Ya, Ha, Wa, Ha. Wa meaning and Yahawa and Yahawa. So we go down. And we see here, as for me, I will call, and that is Quara, upon God, Allah Hayyam, which is upon the power of powers, right? Allah, Allah Hayyam, the power of the powers, Yahawa, shall save Yashai, me, Yashai. And that word Yashai means to save. To save, to be saved, be delivered, to be liberated, be saved, be delivered, to save or deliver. All right. So Yahweh uh, will save, which means Yashai in the Paleo Hebrew. Yah, Sha, E, meaning uh, save. So Yahweh will save Yashai so we go into the name of Joshua because that was the name of who the world calls Jesus his his name was Joshua right it was just translated into the name Jesus because even Joshua in the New Testament which is uh, that came after Moses his name was also translated to Jesus in the New Testament. So we go into his name. Joshua or Jehoshua, meaning Jehovah is salvation. Right. And, and Joshua's name before it was Joshua was uh, Yashai. Or Hawashai. Yashai, which means save. Savior. So we go down here into the spelling in the uh, in the Hebrew lexicon, and it says Yaha Wa Shai, Yaha Wa Shawai. So we know that his name was Yahweh Shai. He came in the name of the Father. The Father's name is Yahweh, 
meaning he is, he exists, and he is to be. And we just read in Psalms 55 verse 16 that he who is, he who exists, and he who is to be will save Israel. He's going to save his inheritance, his people. So right here, the name Joshua, which is from right here in the root word, Yahawa, and also Yashai, we know that Yah meaning he. So Yahawa, he who is existent is to be, Yashai, he saves. So his name was Yahawah Shai, which means Yahawah, which who is, is to be and exists. Shai, which means saves. So the name Joshua is translated to Yahawah is salvation. And he tells you that through his name, you're saved, believing in, in the son. So Yahawah Shai is the savior of the world Yahweh Shai coming in the name of Yahweh alright so now we're going to go to Romans 8 and 15 I believe this is Romans chapter 8 verse 15 for ye have not received the spirit of bondage again to fear so we haven't received that spirit of fear, but ye have received the spirit of adoption. Again, going back to that um, uh, John 4 and 14, the first book of John, where he says that he came to save the world, which is um, that world also goes into uh, cosmos, right? But also, uh, I'll go into that in a minute. Let me finish this uh, verse. The spirit of adoption whereby we cry Abba, which means father. Abba, father. Father of our fathers. Okay. So let's go to. Um, it's lucky. Okay, my, I lost my train of thought. Let me go back. Let me read that one more time. The spirit itself beareth witness with our spirit that we are the children of Yahweh, our power. And if children, then heirs, heirs of our power, which is Yahweh, and joint heirs with Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. Mashiach, they changed it to Christ, you know, because they used to worship this God, um, Christos, uh, Serapis Christos. You know, and back then they used to alternate from Serapis Christos to Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. So they changed Christ to the meaning of Messiah. Which really, if you're going to say Messiah, we have that word Messiah instead of saying Christ. You know, and Jesus obviously was a made up um, name from Joshua, which was correctly translated from Yahweh Shai. All right, so talking about that salvation to the world, let me go to that one first. World without end. So Isaiah chapter 45, verse 17. But Israel, Yasharala, which is prince of power, shall be saved in Yahweh. There we see the capital L O R D which means Yahweh, with an everlasting salvation, ye shall not be ashamed nor confounded world without end. So that's the world that Yahweh came to save, Israel. Israel is that world without end. In Ephesians 3, 21, unto him be glory in the church, which church means We'll go into that word real quick. Unto him be glory in the church. A gathering of citizens called out 
from their homes into some public place and assembly, an assembly of people convened at the public place of the council for the purpose of deliberating the assembly of the Israelites. All right, so it's the assembly of the Israelites. So unto him be glory in the church, which is the Israelites, by Mashiach Yahawashai, throughout all ages, world without end, to Wab. All right, so then we go to Romans chapter 9. I say the truth in Mashiach, I lie not. My conscience also bearing me witness in the Holy Ghost. So we're trying the spirits with the spirits in the spirit of Yahweh Shai HaMashiach and the spirit of Yahweh coming down unto us bears witness with our spirit that we are Israelites for being in that assembly going out to the highways and the hedges doing the commandments and fearing the Most High. All right. That I have great heaviness and continual sorrow in my heart. You know, because as for myself, I'm speaking for myself. Um, I'm always trying to, you know, hoping that more people can wake up, man. Hoping that more more of our people can wake up, which is the Negroes, Latinos, the Native Americans, whom are the Israelites that the scriptures speak of that went through all the curses in Deuteronomy 28. All right. So for I wish that myself were a curse for Mashiach for my brethren. All right, so I wish I could endure all these things for, for my brethren, my kinsmen, according to the flesh. So at a certain point, it is according to the flesh. All right, because you have to be an Israelite. But also, you're not a Jew outward, which are the, the Achium with the confusion of face, but an inward Jew, which testifies with this, the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, in your spirit to be an Israelite. Even though you don't look like like a, a descendant of a, a Negroid or or whatever, you know, of an, of an ancient Israelite, how they used to look. You're not an outward Jew. You don't look like them, but you're an inward Jew, a confusion of face. For I wish that myself were a curse for Mashiach, my brethren, my kinsmen, according to the flesh. Chap uh, verse four, who are Israelites. So again, going back to the church being the Israelites all right to whom pertaineth the adoption so we just read that in first John 4 and 14 about the adoption so the adoption really goes to the Israelites and the glory and the covenants and the giving of the law and the service of our power and the promises and our power is Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai all right whose are the fathers in whom concerning the flesh Mashiach came so he came from our ancestors. All right. Yahweh Shai came from our ancestors to be the Messiah who is over all of us, blessed by Yahweh forever. Tawab. All right. So now that we know who uh, uh, it pertains to, which is Israel, we know that Yahweh Shai did not come from any other seed but from Israel. He was a Jewish, or not a Jewish Salakia, he was a Jew. All right, Jewish pertains to Jew meaning uh, Judah, ish meaning kind of or sort of. All right, they didn't come from, from Israel. Those are Amalekites that call themselves Jewish. They're Edomites, all right? So glory came from Yahweh Shai which was prophesied in uh, Genesis 49 when it goes into the blessings of Judah. All right. So Yahweh Shai, meaning Yahweh, uh, Yashai, meaning saves. So Yahweh Shai, meaning Yahweh saves. All right. Much like Judah, which means Yahweh, which means thank Yahweh. So you go into the Hebrew words, uh, Yahweh, meaning obviously the Most High, and then Thawada, meaning thank you, or to thank, you know. So Yahweh, 
meaning thank Yahweh, which is where Yahweh Shai came from, which he also came in the name of his father, Yahweh. So Yahweh Shai would be the son, and Yahweh would be the father. All right, so according to the flesh, Yahweh Shai will save the elect men of Israel, all right, whom, whom gather themselves in the church, in that assembly of Israelites. And that's what the Akim are doing every week, day in, day out, all right? Watching the brothers' videos and uh, making videos for the Akim and going out to the highways and the hedges, man. When you go out to the highways and the hedges, that's that's the assembly that Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai is looking for. So if you have brothers with confusion of face going out to the highways and the hedges, again, that church is supposed to be Israel. So if that brother or if that or if that person is not Israel, then eventually he will be found out because his spirit does not testify with our spirit receiving the Holy Spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. All right. So with that, Akim, I want to say Shalom, peace and blessings to the 12 tribes of Israel and the 12,000 out of every tribe. Peace and blessings to the elect. All right. And, and the water, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, for, for revealing this truth to us through our elders and our uh, and the apostles of Great Millstone, which started out from Abba Bivens being the father of peace, which brought this peace unto us, unto Israel. And that peace is Yahweh Shai. And now Yahweh Shai is being preached throughout the four corners of the earth like it was prophesied, man. All right, so I want to say Shalom, Akim, just stay strong and, and keep going in this word, man. Keep making those videos. Keep going out to the highways and the hedges, you know. Shalom.